you think about Obama's call for taking over the Internet to protect it? I'm for net neutrality. But Obama's run by the very same corporations that want to get rid of it. He admits he wants to tax it and control it. And so by claiming they want to protect the web, that's how they can destroy the web. Well, exactly. Uh, let, let me just speak at one thing that, that your last caller said. Uh, Alex, if, if there's nothing else anyone could take away from what we're talking about today, please, everyone, buy a dash cam, um, a self-contained dash cam. Record everything that goes on every time you're in your car. Okay, back to your question now. Joe, go ahead. Um, the net you know, neutrality. Yeah, the net neutrality is what they want to do is control the content. It's not so much the worrying about who's using how much broadband or how much percentage of the Internet's being used by. Uh, in this example, Netflix gets 36% of the Internet traffic, yet they pay the same rates as people who use, uh, you know, 0.5%. It's not about that, as they state. They want to c control the content of what is being distributed on the Internet because it is like the uh, last, it's the Wild West. Uh, That's right. The only thing we have left with any uh, semblance of freedom and, and non-censorship, except for the fact that they're finding ways now, and you've uh, been a, a victim of this, and, and we have too, of the search engines from Google to AOL, all these different internet companies that suppress uh, through their search functions and filters. Uh, so when they, people search for you or, or a topic you've covered, it gets suppressed and it does not uh, appear as it should at the top of the page or doesn't appear at all under the news feed or under certain uh, areas. And that's just one way uh, they suppress numbers, and it's never ending. And again, they're wargaming how to fight the people right now. That's why it's important that everyone out there listening get involved immediately in having your own little media operation, putting out what you think, shooting videos, showing folks what you've seen so that they can't suppress billions of people. They can't suppress hundreds of millions of people in the U.S. If we all start putting out our common sense, their attempt at the background noise of fraud and disinfo will basically implode. Let's go ahead and go to Barbara in Illinois. Barbara, you're on the air. Yes, hello. Um, I feel that there's a, a, a rumbling of the, the people are like waking up. And I think that also the military has not had enough of this president. And I think somehow I'm the one who thought there'd be a coup. But I also feel there might be even an assassination attempt on the president. Because I think there's a lot, enough angry. It, 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 there's just such anger out there now. Well, by the way, oh, my gosh. Well, the, Obama was unpopular until he was assassinated. God forbid... The last thing we would ever want would be for Obama to get assassinated because then he could be turned into a martyr and then they could lionize all the horrible things they've done in his name and then say that you want to kill somebody if you're against Obamacare or against turning your guns in. In fact, I've been saying this for six years. The real false flag could be an assassination of Obama or it could be an attempted assassination. But don't think that even though he's their Harvard minion, uh, and their golden, you know, uh, idol, don't think that the globalists wouldn't be above assassinating him to create a martyred deity out of him. Uh, Doug Hagman, Joe Hagman, your take on that statement. Go back, Alex, go back to the funeral of Nelson Mandela. Tell tell us, I mean, he, uh, that, that guy, that fake... Um, uh, Sign language interpreter. Yeah, that guy, okay, was, was feet from uh, world leaders, including Obama. Uh, recently, the two jumpers over the fence, one yeah. guy getting into the West Wing of the White House. Explain how that happens. Maybe that's just a message out there. I don't know. We were looking at this because, in fact, we were talking to a Secret Service agent who said, you know, it almost looked as if they wanted this to happen. In fact, the Secret Service agent, President Protection Detail, formerly under uh, uh, under uh, uh, Bush, uh, W. Bush, uh, is, is saying that, look, this is also a theater. Perhaps there is a message being sent. Keep to our, our game plan, keep to the script, or you're expendable. Joe? Yeah, uh, I pray uh, for the president and his safety, because you want to see a uh, Ferguson in every city USA. Yeah, that's right. Uh, and that happens. That That's what it will look like. And as you said, they will turn him into a martyr. Uh, and regardless of that, I don't even know if we get to the point where there would be uh, able to be written history by people in the U.S. because of the chaos that would create.
Absolutely. We're headed there anyway. We don't want to accelerate that process. Uh, and uh, his safety is something that people need to be praying for because uh, just like an EMP attack that could happen from a country uh, launching an attack or the sun uh, having a flare, uh, that will stop society dead in its tracks. All, every, all the progress we've made, good or bad, and sure. create chaos instantly. Well, but can we force the Republican leadership to route what the Democrats have done? I mean, Boehner's coming out saying the president is flagrantly untruth and being untruthful uh, now they're saying they might try to repeal obamacare well they better repeal it i mean isn't it up to us holding their feet to the fire it is up to us and uh, that's where this is why we've got to the point we've gotten to uh, i don't believe that any changes came from the midterm that will benefit the country i believe we lost uh, regardless of who wins and at this point because of our lack and, and our grandparents and their grandparents lack of, of Holding the politicians accountable, this is why. But repealing Obamacare, by the way, the damage has already been done. All right, well, hold on. Explain that when we come back, then we'll talk to uh, other folks that are patiently holding, like Ramon. Here's what we're getting at. Globally, we're in the hands of social engineers that aren't building an economy based on what is higher quality, what is more resources, what is a more enlightened egalitarian society. No, it's a destructive Agenda 21, make you poor, austerity, dumb down, uh, death panels, don't take care of the old, kill young babies after they're born. It's a very ugly world. Socially engineered and run by eugenicist bean counters. And I don't think we want to be part of it. So I'm just here assaulting the fraud, showing who's behind it, indicting them in the court of public opinion. And it's having a big effect. You're having a big effect. Look at how accurate our research and our view of the world is compared to what the establishment's saying. Because the globalists brag to each other. They write books. They're very public. You don't think I just made all this up 20-something years ago, 22 years ago, 20 years ago on air, and then so much of it came true because I had a crystal ball or I was a good, you know, guesser. They've all bragged about it, and that's what's frustrating. I want to go to Ramon and to Kevin and Chris and Joseph and Sledgehammer and everybody else uh, talking to the Hagmans, but any other areas, any other big stories you are looking at, any other angles you guys haven't talked about yet? Alex, uh, a couple of things in terms of geo the geopolitical world, uh, in terms of what's going on in the Middle East, watch Syria. The objective to take over Syria, Aus Assad, has been prime. It's not off the table. That is going to spark additional tensions with Russia. That, of course, will also, and by the way, the gas prices coming down here, the refined oil product and the crude oil product is part and parcel to the attempted takedown of Russia. This and, and I know it's hard to believe, but in the, just a few moments here that we've got, people have to understand that everything that we're seeing happen on the world stage is related and interrelated. So watch Syria and domestically here, the ultimate objective. Well, sure, they admit they're lowering oil prices at OPEC to bankrupt Russia. I, I mean, it's just the general public doesn't, you know, read what OPEC's publicly saying. But yeah, there's an energy war going on. Aren't we approaching one of those times in history when more happens in five years than happened the previous hundred? Yeah, and they call it the tipping point. And what they're doing now is they're poking the bear, seeing exactly what is the most efficient and effective and fast way for people, for the, them to push society to the tipping point. And this is why we're seeing, you know, these Ebola pandemics and everything being hyped so much in the mainstream news. And the reason that you're doing such an effective job and our show's been growing is because it's just the truth. And the truth is popular. And none of the networks on TV and uh, barely anybody wants to tell the truth anymore. But just the truth alone. Uh, it, it has well, yeah, they're a bunch of yes men and women who just want their paycheck. But at a certain point, when everything implodes, they've sold their family out. I mean, it's it's, it's insane. It's yeah. insane. I mean, it's not like we're being conquered by, you know, the Romans and we're living in mud huts. We're going to be living better or something. I'm not saying the Romans were great. We're being conquered by exterminist globalists. They might as well be flesh-eating, you know, aliens from Alpha Centauri's. I mean, they're bad news. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. And the well, the subtlety the, that they do, yeah. that they've been able to influence and now corrupt and persuade and change the perceptions of the people of this country to start conforming and accepting the things that they would not normally do. Uh, it's been so effective. Well, yeah, it's like the trusted traveler thing. You go to a TSA interview and they put you in the system and now you only get searched a little bit. That's how it always used to be till they staged 9-11, folks. Stay there. I want to come back with phone calls, gentlemen. 
back in 60 seconds or 70, this technically. This is GCN. Going right the to your Genesis calls, Ramon. Communications Radio Network. In the near future. When you realize how fake it all is, the football, the basketball. Security alert. Security alert. This is Homeland Security. Analysis. Infowars building independent media operations. But the worst people get controlled and tell us that we are the ones responsible. Prime directive discredit Alex Jones. Jones is the wildly popular conspiracy theorist. It's a popular conspiracy theory talk show called Infowars. Alex Jones is now in an Austin jail. These people are assaulted. Targeting of Patriots engaged. They are never going to stop. They're never going to deviate from their program until we stop them. Block free iPhone app at infowars.com. Block free podcast and video feed. Imperative destroy Prison Planet TV. You gotta set your eye on the enemy, not worry about what propaganda they put out.